Hi friends, welcome back to N1 N2 tutorial. I'm N2 and today we are going to learn subtraction. Today's topic is subtraction and keep in mind that this is my episode part 1. Subtraction part 1. So today we are go subtract subtracting and these are the houses hundreds tens and ones we will subtract with these are the houses to do okay so let's start here we have 412 minus 80 so we have one column here and under it is 2 0 so when you have two chocolates you don't give anything to anyone so you are left with two chocolates now we come to the tens column we have one and eight now here we have to borrow you cut four make it into three add one here so it has become eleven now and supposing you have 11 exercise books you submit 8 to the teacher and you are you are left with 3 3 exercise books are left on your table so here we have 32 and now we move on to the hundreds column note that when we have nothing to subtract with nothing to give to anyone so your answer over here will be 3. So it is 332, 332 you are left with. So let's move on to sum number 2. Now over here we have under 1 column 2 and 2. So uh, here uh, you have supposing you think that you have two pens and then you use both two pens to write so you are left with zero pens on your book or, or on your pouch in your pouch so let's move on to the tenth scholar this is a tenth scholar and here we have seven minus one seven su subtract one from seven so uh, you have se you have seen seven trees and then you see that there is one bird sitting on only one tree so six trees are left in which on which the bird are not sitting so the answer for sum number 1 is 332332 for sum number 2 it is 6060 let's move on to sum number 3 here we have 324 minus 12. So in the ones column we have 4 minus 2. We subtract 2 from 4. So you have 4 pencils. You use 2 and 2 will be left with you. Let's move to the tenths column. This is the tenths column. 2 minus 1. So you drink you have two glasses of water you drink one you are left with one glass now we move to the hundreds column as you can see h means hundreds t means tens and o means ones hundreds tens and ones three and as you can see in number one we had nothing to do but this was a different case where we had to borrow but we had nothing under it if we don't if we don't borrow then the answer would be four and in number three we don't have to borrow anything so over here our answer will be three only so answer for sum number three is three one two or rather you can see it as 312 let's move to sum number 4 
sum number 4 we only have the tens and the ones column now we are going to do it uh, we are going to solve the ones column where you have to subtract 7 from 6 and you cannot do it in this way you have to borrow so you have you will cut 9 make it as 8 and add 1 in the ones column so now you have to subtract 7 uh, from 16 so you are going to be left with 9 so your answer in the ones column is 9 and let me tell you something more that here yes when we subtract borrow it rather then uh, for you not, uh, not to be confused that's why I am cutting this tree so that you don't be confused now let's come to number 4 again here also we first do the sum and then we are going to cut so now we are left with 8 and 8 minus 8 will be 0 8 toffees you have you give 8 to another person you are left with 0 cut this 8 the answer for number 4 is 0 9 9 ok you will say it as 9 and you just write the sum oh, uh, in the sum 0 but you are not going to say it as 0 9 is the answer you will see it 9 only ok but the 0 will remain there in the sum 0 is going to remain there in the sum okay now uh, please like share and subscribe my video thanks for watching